have a good feeling about this one. Yes! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel everyone. This is Asha Media TV. For those of you that are new here, welcome! This is where I like to watch, react, and review a variety of stuff related to sci-fi, fantasy, and comic books. So in today's video, I'm going to be watching the fourth episode from Disney Marvel's What If series titled, What If Doctor Strange Lost His Heart Instead of His Hands? Technically, he'd be dead. But I know they mean figuratively. <laughs> uh, of course, before I press play on this episode, I do need to cover some very basic stuff. So if you are new to my channel, it's your first time watching any of my stuff, <laughs> please listen up and don't skip ahead. The first thing I should warn you, just in case you missed it in the title, it happens. This is a spoiler filled reaction video. Spoilers ahead related to this episode possible spoilers as well related to Doctor Strange, the Doctor Strange movie, or any other Doctor Strange nugget of information that pops in my head. So if you haven't seen the movie related to Doctor Strange, the MCU movie, I don't recommend you watch this video. You've been warned. And second, here on my channel I offer a watch-along type of experience, not a picture-in-picture -picture type of reaction that most of you I know are very much used to. I don't offer that anymore for very valid legal reasons. So if you want to find out about how to watch along with me, click on the video link you see there above my finger on the screen, or head on over into the description box below and click on the link for the video titled How to Watch Along With Me. And in that video, I break down three easy ways that you can watch along this episode with me. And lastly, up there on the screen is my normie disclaimer. It briefly tells you that I'm what's considered a normie. I'm not familiar with the source material. I'm only familiar with the mainstream components of what it has to do with Marvel or anything comic book related. So it is possible, very likely so, that I may misinterpret something, misunderstand something that could likely be related to the source material. Therefore, use that opportunity. If you are very much in the know about the comics, use that opportunity to educate me rather than, you know, overly criticize uh, or um, hate on my video just for the sake of the fact that I don't know every single Easter egg that pops up on the screen. I would really appreciate that, okay? So at least you know just in case. All right, I'm gonna now get ready to press play on this video. I'm actually really excited. I've said previously in other reaction videos that Doctor Strange is actually my favorite MCU character. In fact, I like the character so much and I like the premise of this character. I like the stuff dealing with, with uh, the occult and all that, that I just might uh, consider reading the source material at some point. Um, I, I, I'm really curious to see the arc of this character when it was first brought up in the comics back in the day, if I can find those comics easily. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but either way, I'm really excited to, to watch this episode, and I did enjoy very much the Doctor Strange movie, um, and so apparently it's uh, the majority of the cast from the movie have reprised their roles, which makes it even more exciting to listen to Benedict Cumberbatch's voice again. I love that guy. And, um... Yeah, so let's get to watching. <laughs> if you are going to watch along with me, let's get to counting down to play. If not, feel free to skip on over to the review takeaway portion of this video. Hopefully I'll see you at some point, but I'm ready to watch. So I'm going. Bye. Hello, hello. Okay, so I am right at the beginning. Zero, 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 zero. I'm going to count down to play giving you a heads up that I do not skip the recap. If there is one, I don't think there is one, I can't remember. But I don't skip whatever intro's there, I just let it play. Sometimes I use that as my opportunity to babble, <laughs> if you want to hear it. But anyway, um, yeah, so not much of the skipping, and I will try to do my best to give you a decent notice when I press pause, because I know I have the habit of being a little too quick on that. But, uh, you know, with a half hour-ish type uh, episode, it's, I've been, I think I've been pretty good not pausing and stuff in previous reactions, so don't have much to worry about there. Okie dokie, let's -a go. Counting down. Three, two, one, play.
So I was wondering previously um, if they were going to culminate all of the episodes into one big finale with all of our alternate heroes, so to speak, I guess, um, finding themselves in one one reality, perhaps in the last episode. And uh, apparently that's the case, to a lo- uh, according to a lot of <laughs> experts on YouTube. Um, I don't know. I can only figure they're going to have to do something like that. But I'll be honest, I hope they don't. I like it just as it is. As an episodic thing where you're just wondering what could happen, you know, with each character that you like. I really hope they don't do some mashup thing. I think it's kind of corny, to be honest. But hey, that's just my opinion for now. I might change my mind depending on their finale episode. Aye, aye, Jeffrey Wright. (laughs) He's got quite a voice. (laughs) Strange consequences indeed. Let's see these consequences. Boy. Yeah, right? Come on. <laughs> so she's going to be in the car when he has his accident. Rachel McAdams. I miss for rectum. Maybe they're not going to have an accident. Never mind. (laughs) I thought they might change that up. Guess not. Oh, shit. Yeah. Ah. What if Christine died in the car accident? Oh shit, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> we gotta speed this up. Uh, at least they kept that bit. I always liked that from the movie. Wow, we're like literally at the end of the movie.
two years already. Which she's going to do. <laughs> All right, he's going to try to bring back Rachel. Uh, you know who I'm talking about. There's going to be some dire consequences. Oh, okay. So he just went right back in time. And you're going to avoid a, having a car accident. Is this real or is he just imagining this? Nope. <laughs> oh, okay. Cause I was like, is he gonna have to redo everything? So he's just going back in that point in time over and over again. All right, let's Groundhog Day this bitch. Okay, now you won't. <laughs> so this is already predictable. He's not going to find any way to ever save her. Okay, so she's like destined to die then. Because no matter what he's doing, it ain't working. Unless the big thing in here is um, he's going to figure out some powerful trick that might cause more problems. It's like he expected that one. What would be an interesting twist, for whatever it's worth, I'm just throwing it out there because, uh, you know me, my wacky theories, if you've been watching my other reactions, it would be interesting if like, on his last his last try, Christine does live, but he dies, and she becomes like, you know, Doctor Something. <laughs> I don't know. With all the gender swapping going on with Marvel, I wouldn't be surprised.
Absolute points sounds... They sound really unfair, though. Like, why should one point be more important than another? Hmm. Where the hell is he? <laughs> no. Yes, let's just presume. The adventure begins. Is that Mordo? <laughs> Sorcerer Armani. That sounds kind of neat, though. You get internet access there? <laughs> Do you even need it? Conveniently in a book. Huh? What, what did, like, do they mean literal absorption? Hey! That's that thing, uh, Captain America fought, right? Captain Carver. That's a no.
I just have a hard time believing that. What the hell is that? Is that a gnome? It is a gnome. <laughs> it's a gnome character. Just takes it to his body. <laughs> so okay. What if it's a powerful bug though? Oh, wow. That's visually really cool to look at. Hot damn! I'm just a little surprised that something so powerful is allowed to be explored so, so freely in this place. Like, Obang should make sure certain books, you know, aren't that accessible. Maybe he doesn't make the rules. Dude, he's going to become like something that Christine wouldn't even want. Is he going to turn into every creature like in one big... Okay, never mind. It's probably just a energy thing, right? It's not going to affect his appearance. Yo, he just straight up killed it. That's really cool. I like that. Centuries went by? God damn. So there's another half of him. How is that possible? Uh, okay. The Doctor Strange that didn't make the choice to go and play with time. <laughs> but something happened. The... Yeah. Everything is just melting. Wow. So is he going to like fight himself? Very convenient echo.
hence why she separated them, okay? Um, yeah. <laughs> the fact that he would even ask the question makes me laugh a little bit. Wong's just like, la la la, you know, I'm disintegrating. No big deal. Well, he's dealing with a very powerful version of himself. I will be surprised if he really does defeat him. I almost think that's unrealistic, to be honest, if that ends up being the case. He looks like the devil. Wow. See, this is the kind of action I hope we get in the movie, uh, in the sequel. Their capes are fighting.
Ah, it's moments like this where you're just like, I wish it wasn't a cartoon. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Shadow. Every time I see creme brulee now, I'm going to think of this episode. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard a character talk about creme brulee so much. Yeah. What has he become? Oh gosh, she's alive to this. If she dies again here, well, everything's disintegrating anyway. Uh, the whole world is destroyed? Like his own reality? Very impressed. Huh. 
Wow. Can Kang the Conqueror reverse all that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Loki brought up some uh, interesting questions, you know, in terms of control of time and all that stuff. But anyway, wow, I'm so impressed. They actually had a bad ending or a very dark, sad one for Marvel. I think that's a positive thing, considering that hardly, you know, none of their characters really die. Well, in the MCU, I'm talking about, you know? Except for uh, Iron Man, but I'm sure at some point they'll find some way to bring him back. <laughs> okay, well, there, that's it. Um, I don't think there's an end credit. Nothing's popping up for that. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, some of my takeaways for this episode is coming up. It's official. This now is my favorite episode. <laughs> it was episode three, but it's easily now episode four. I have quite a number of stuff that I really like about this episode. So I'm going to share my top three with you right now. Uh, starting with the actual narrative of the story. This particular episode felt very um, streamlined. Very similar to episode three in a sense where it was very clear what the problem was. And they had to figure out, you know, who the murderer was in episode three. And in this episode, it's very clear as well. You know, he wants to save Christine. And I like how they made his journey... Um, not only fun to watch and in be engaging, but also um, it had me asking questions. You know, when they started talking about absolute points, I was just like, hmm, you know, I had my thoughts about that, which you can go watch uh, in my reaction portion there. But overall, the narrative in and of itself for me was enjoyable. And that leads into my second takeaway, and that is the action. This was definitely an episode that I would love to see turned into live action. And I'm just going to presume, I'm going to presume, and you're more than welcome to let me know if you feel the same way or think the same thing or not. Um, I think this is also foreshadowing the kind of possible action sequences we might see in Doctor Strange, uh, Multiverse of Madness, because, you know, it is Doctor Strange and things are gonna be more on a horror level, apparently, with a lot of dark tones and themes and, and all kinds of stuff that, like, that seems to be similar to this episode. So I'm going to just presume this is Marvel's way of saying, hey, you know what, if you like this episode, you just might like the sequel. So that's exciting for me personally as a fan of Doctor Strange in the MCU and um, looking forward to seeing this character also, uh, you know, have a journey like this that dives into the darkness of, of his world. And that leads into my last takeaway, which may be surprising to some of you, um, but I said at the end of my reaction, I was very surprised that they didn't shy away from saying, look, he made this choice, this is the outcome, no if, buts, and whatever. His universe is dead, like gone. And I think that's really very good with Marvel to finally give us a non-happy ending because, you know, it's kind of the Marvel formula where it ends off on a quasi somewhat positive note. Characters don't really die. There's some other way they come back. And I like how this universe, that reality is gone. And it's based on the choices he made. And it was just kind of sad in a sense to see um, at the end there where he's trying to argue Oh, don't don't hurt the world, you know. Take it out on me, and I couldn't help but be like, well, <laughs> a little too late to be thinking like that, you know. Overall, it was simply just refreshing, refreshing to see a series of choices and also a series of warnings around his choices because it's not like he only got one warning; he got multiple warnings from different characters in different ways. And so, yeah, I think this episode had very strong points overall. I'm looking forward to rewatching it, definitely. This is the first episode out of the entire series that I will willingly go back, press play, get some popcorn, and I'm like, let's, let's watch Doctor Strange die again. <laughs> no, <laughs> but you know what I'm getting at. It, it was a very strong episode, in my opinion, and uh, that's that. So, there you have it. That's my reaction. 
those are some of my takeaways from this episode. What were your initial thoughts about the ending? Did you enjoy the ending or would you have preferred some intervention from some other character? Should that uh, godlike, godlike, I know he's not a god, but a godlike figure, um, I think that's one of the Watchers? Terrible with remembering some of these things. But yeah, should that person have intervened even though they say they couldn't? I'm sure many of you who know the comics and all that, uh, you know ahead of me on that stuff. But overall, I love this episode. I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do in the next one and which character they're going to bring up. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Until the next episode, everyone, I'm tuning out. Peace. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos and subscribe. You know you wanna.